Well, Tupatu Māori poaching of Fight City is seen as a major political coup, considering Fight City won by a majority of 6,000 votes in the 2020 election. Someone who knows a thing or two about changing parties is former National and New Zealand First MP Tauhenare. Tauhenare from Ngāpuhi is with us now in the studio. Tēnā koe tau, thank you for joining us. Now, th th this news was blindsided, well, blindsided the Prime Minister, who's currently in London for the King's coronation. Um, he overlooked Whaitiri for promotion in favour of Willow Jean Prime and Kiri Tapu Ellen. Do you think this could have been a contributing factor? Oh, I think it's, it's, it's in the background. It's not, it's not the reason, um, but it's, uh, I, I suppose it's just one of those, one of those things that uh, if you add them all up, it creates a, a, a position that where you can sort of say, OK, well, these are all the reasons I'm off. Now, some are calling it a waka jumper. I'm not sure yeah. that, that, that this is what it is. Uh, someone who understands this a little bit more, yeah. what's the difference between a waka jumper and someone just changing parties? Well, I, I never used the term waka jumper and haven't, and, and uh, I think it's a, a horrible term. Um, uh, it basically... Um, she has to ne negotiate uh, herself through this because there is the uh, the legislation uh, in the house that 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 uh, controls who stays and who goes right. when you change a party. Mm. So you're not only changing a party; you're actually changing um, the outcome of, a, of an election. Mm. Mm. So um, I hope she's done her homework there. In terms of its boldness, I think it's huge. Mm. Uh, it is a huge moment in time. She was a minister of the Crown and she's been willing to give all of that up uh, to set, set herself on a new path. It's a, really, it's, it's a bold move. So the poaching of Whaitiri is seen as a fairly major political coup? Yeah, I, I'm not sure whether it's poaching or whether she wanted to go. Uh, call her what you will. Um, I, I think it is a bold move. I think it's. Um, I think it has ramifications not only for to Party Māori, but the Labour Party, the National Party as well. Sure. What does this mean then for Te Party Māori? Oh, it means that their position of negotiation is a bit stronger than what it was, what it was yesterday. And, um, and going forward, I think that they will, they will really be able to, uh, to use the numbers game yeah. uh, coming, for, uh, coming up at the election. And what could this do for Labour? Especially considering a general election is coming up in October. Oh, I, th I, I think it gives them an opportunity to, to, to sit back and say, well, look, where are we? I, I think they will understand the Māori Party are not going to go with National. Right. The only, the only question is... And I think National's made that clear. Yeah, yeah, I, and, and, and they, they know that as well. So they, they're a bit of a Nigel, Nigel no-mates yeah. party at the moment because they haven't said whose their mates are. With, for Labour, they understand that the door is now uh, fully open for a, uh, a coalition between the Greens, the Māori Party and Labour. Well, do you see then uh, that the Māori Party could be a potential kingmaker at the next election? Oh, most, most definitely. I mean, it, it, I, I think it's still too close to call. Yep. I think uh, we may even be in a position of a hung parliament. But if it's not a hung parliament... Uh, it will be close, and yes, they, they will have the inside running. And, and it's believed that Whaitiri will replace the, the former Māori Party representative um, for Ikaroa Rāwhiti, Heather Skipworth. Yep. What's going to happen to her? Uh, it's a very, very diplomatic uh, uh, way out of this, and that is for Heather to get a pretty high placing on the list. Well, Ikaroa Rāwhiti has been a fairly safe major a Labour seat for a, for a very long time. Do you think she'll have much support from her electorate? That's always the question uh, when you bail from a party that's seen you through uh, 10 years, uh, through a number of elections. Can you, uh, can you rely mm. on the people that put you there to do it again, but you're on another horse? Because some might feel that there's some disloyalty there. Yeah. And, and there will be uh, people that won't vote for Mika because of it. But there will also be a lot of new people that think, wow, this is really cool. Mm. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a matter of what does she do now between now and election day. Do you think uh, this has any, any familiarities, similarities mm -hmm. with Tariana Turia? 
Oh, I, th I think the times were different and the reasons were different. And uh, with, with Tari's, it was about one issue, the foreshore and seabed, and it galvanised the Māori Party vote for a number of years. Mm. This, on the other hand, is a wee bit different. Um, it's it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, and how, how it plays out, how they explain it. I can't wait for the first interview between yourselves and, and Mecca. See what she has to say. Um, what could this mean for Māori seats? Oh, it means that they're all under, under high watch. Um, it makes them exciting for the next election. Uh, you know, a couple of them could, could tumble. Uh, so, yeah, it makes it for an exciting six months. Now, considering that Labour, this is the second seat Labour has lost yep. uh, in the past six months, what does Labour need to do now to continue to boost its chances heading towards the general election? Oh, I, th I think, I think Chippy's, uh, 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 his management has been pretty good, although he didn't, he didn't see this coming. Not a lot of us did. Um, I just think that uh, he, he needs to stay the course, do what he's been doing, uh, getting out in front of uh, the cameras, in front of the people. Um, and and uh, see, see the, the thing is that Luxon, it's, it's, he has to make all the running. Sure. You know, he's the one that wants the top job. Um, it's, about, it's about how he handles himself too. And I wasn't very impressed this morning about his uh, comments about the, the Māori Party. I know where they're going. Yep. And that means that they, got, they want to paint the Māori Party, the Green Party and the Labour Party as one block. Um, and and uh, that'll be their campaign slogan. A vote, for, a vote for the Māori Party is actually a vote for the Labour Party. Look, appreciate you joining us today. Yep. Tau a former MP. Ngā mihi ki a koe. Kia ora.